So today I woke up and I felt motivated. I decided that I have this dream fish, a bucket list fish. I'm going to go out and I am going to channel my inner Jeremy Wade. And I'm going to hunt down this river monster. I'm going to catch this thing, bring it home, and put it in my aquarium. However, I made one very crucial error. And that is, I forgot that I live in Nebraska. And it's February. Damn it! Alright guys, so we're back in the fish room. As you can tell, I got this uh, ugh, big old box here. Uh, this thing weighs 24 pounds. So uh, it's a pretty big fish in here and uh, I am very anxious to get this box open. Let's see. I see movement, so everything looks pretty good. I don't know if you can tell. Pretty big bags, a lot of water, plenty of oxygen, which is great because these guys were actually shipped with uh, two day shipping. Very active fish, so that's awesome to see. But the main fish <laughs> is right here. And in case you can't tell, I'm pretty freaking excited. Oh, this is heavy. Let me uh, spin this around and give you an idea here. Can you tell by the shape? Right, we got some handful of bags so we got to go ahead and unbox him this guy is doing great so I'll go ahead and get them opened up uh, we'll float the bags for about a half an hour um, again they are pretty cold it's been like 15 degrees here in Omaha so uh, we'll float them in their tank and then I'll show you once they're floating Okay, so while these two fish are acclimating, I wanted to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about Jonah's Aquarium, the site that I went ahead and ordered these fish from. I'll uh, show you their website here on the screen and put all their information down in the description below. This is not any kind of like paid deal. They didn't uh, offer me anything. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I shot them an email. It took a few days for them to get back to me. I said I was interested in uh, this Florida gar and uh, we're, I wanted to know if they had any larger catfish, kind of like a bullhead. They got back to me, they gave me the updated stocking list, and uh, these are the two that I picked out. We decided to do two day shipping. I told them it's very, very cold here in Omaha, so I wanted to make sure that uh, the fish got here. There was no heating pack in the box, but the fish are doing fine. The water wasn't actually that cold because they were like triple bagged. Um, we went ahead and sent it to the UPS store so they weren't riding around the truck in this frigid temperature all day. But uh, yeah, Jonah's Aquarium, Fantastic uh, experience. They have a repeat customer in me, I am sure. Uh, largemouth bass, walleye, crappie, bluegill, darters, anything you could want that's a native North American fish, they have it. Uh, Mark is the guy that I was working with. Big shout out to him. Um, so yeah, definitely if you're interested in native fish, go check them out. Tell them that uh, Zach from SC Fish Keeping sent you. Um, they would certainly appreciate it. And like I said, I will be ordering from them again very soon. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes since they've been acclimating and uh, the guards kind of turned himself up like, get me out. So I'm gonna dump them into the styrofoam container that they came in. This one. 
and then net them out so I'm not uh, transferring any of the water that came in their bag into the tank. This has a nice kind of wide footprint so the garden kind of stretch out. But uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, drop them in the tank. Not sure if that camera is actually picking anything up, but uh, so from snout to tail, he is 11 inches. So he was advertised as 10, showed up as 11. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get him out and throw him back onto or into the tank. I could use the net. He's pretty chill. I could just try and grab him. I might just actually try and. Uh, grab a gar, so uh, count my fingers now. Look at that. I am super excited about this fish, guys. You guys have no idea. I think he's still a little stressed. He was in that bag for about 40 hours, honestly. So, uh, you know, I'll shut off the light. We'll let him acclimate, kind of adjust. He's in here with a couple sunfish. Um, if I see them doing anything, I have other tanks and I'll move them out. But uh, let's go ahead and get that uh, bullhead. <laughs> let's go ahead and get that bullhead out. Kind of dark down there, but he's been super active, so uh, I know he's gonna do great once he gets in the tank. So, net him out. And drop him in. So like I said, Gar's still a little stressed. He's just been laying down on the bottom. Catfish disappeared somewhere back there. There's the sunfish, and the other sunfish hiding behind. Ballsy. A lot of teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and let them uh, adjust. Like I said, I'll shut off the light, let them kind of chill. We'll come back and check on them in a few hours. We'll try and feed them. But with the magic of YouTube, a few hours is like right now. All right, so it's the end of the day. As you can see, I'm getting the rest of the light shut off in the fish room, and I wanted to come down and just check on the new fish one more time. As you can tell, that uh, bullhead catfish, he was hungry, savage, eating all the shrimp that I threw in there. Um, the gar was not ready to eat some of the shrimp. I threw a couple little uh, feeder minnows in there, and uh, I haven't seen him take one of those either, but not worried. After a long journey like that, they typically won't eat. But uh, I'll give you one more look at them before we shut off the light and then we'll uh, wrap this video up and I will tell you the plans for these awesome fish. Alright everybody, so the fish room is shut down. The lights are off as you can tell. The fish are going night night as I have to tell my daughters. Um, but I just want to say thanks for tuning in for this one. I hope you enjoyed. I'm very excited about these fish. Obviously that uh, 40 breeder quarantine that they are in is not a forever home. I have some pretty big uh, plans in store for them. So definitely consider subscribing if you have not already so you don't miss any of what's to come. But uh, let me know down in the comments, do you guys like these native fish that I've been adding lately? The sunfish, the now the gar? catfish, the smallmouth, all that stuff. Do you enjoy these native fish as much as I am? Because I am loving them right now. So another big thank you to Jonas Aquarium. Shout out to Mark for all of his help. 
if you want native fish and don't have the ability to go out and catch them, definitely check these guys out. Like I said, highly recommend them and I will be back. But for now, let's call this one a day. Thank you again for watching and until the next one, I will see you soon. Bye, fish.